Hi, welcome to the MassNL.com. In this video, we're going to look at a statistics problem. This problem appeared in the recent exams, October, November 2015, uh, paper 6, the CIE exams. Okay, the CIE exams, S1, yeah? S1, and the subject code 9709 slash 61. Okay. So, uh, this question uh, is uh, question number two, I believe, and it carries four points. Okay, so let's uh, run through the problem. I have abbreviated the question on the board so that we can just talk about the main things. We are given a random variable x, and we are told that it is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared. Again, we are given a random variable x and we are told that it's normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared. We are given some information, the probability that x less than 54.1 is 0 0.5 and probability x bigger than 50.9 is 0 0.8665. As you can guess, you asked to find mu and sig. Pretty straightforward problem. Okay, I hope this question, this part of the question here, probability x less than 54.1, less than 0 0.5, I hope it rings the bell very quickly with you because we have a probability which is 0 0.5. But anyway, uh, if it doesn't, let's just do it slowly. Yeah? Let's write down the probability statement. Probability that x less than 54.1 is equals to 0 0.5. So we have to transform our x to a z, or some of you may call it a z. Okay, so let's just call it z. Okay, so let's transform x to a standard normal variable. So let me write it down x minus mu over sigma less than 54.1 minus mu over sigma, and that's equals to 0 0.5. What are we doing? We are transforming x to z or z. Okay, what is z? Z is the standard normal variable. So I'm going to write z now. 54.1 minus mu over sigma equals to 0 0.5. Okay. So you can look up the tables. Let me draw a picture. Okay, this is the distribution of z. And probability of z less than something is 0 0.5, and we know this is a symmetric distribution, so this is 0 0.5, so the value of z is 0. And this one here, let me just indicate this area is 0 0.5. So we're looking for this point here, so let's write down 54.1 minus mu over sigma equals to 0, therefore 54.1 minus mu equals to 0, mu equals to 54.1. Easy. Okay? So the fact that they gave us a probability of 0 0.5, our life became a bit easier. Okay? So let's write down mu equals to 54.1. Okay. Now we want to find sigma. To do that, let's go ahead and uh, use the second probability statement. Okay? So let me raise this and come back to that. Probability x bigger than 50.9 equals to 0 0.8665. This is what we call a probability statement. Again, okay? the usual thing, transform your x to a z. So now I can write down straight away, bigger than 50.9 minus mu over sigma equals to 0 0.8665. Now we know mu, let's plug in. Z bigger than 50.9 minus 54.1 over sigma, 0 0.8665. Okay, we know the value of mu, 54.1. So let's clean that up a little bit. 50.9 minus uh, 54.1, so you're going to get a negative number. 54 and 4, so we have a negative 3.2 over 
sigma 0.8665. Okay, so let's come back to this side. Let's draw a picture. We have z bigger than a negative number is 0 0.8665. So let's draw, let's shape this area. This area is 0 0.8665. And this value here will be negative 3.2 over sigma. Open up your tables, read off the value, you will get minus 3.2 over sigma equals to negative 1.1. Okay? And then you can use your calculator and look out the value for sigma will be 2.88. Use a calculator and you'll be done.